Jockey Stand. When we get to the races, we usually start sweating. While all you guys are outside doing all your betting. That burger I ate last night, now I am regretting, then it's done. Well done, my son. I've got my helmet here. It saves me when I'm steeple chasing. Got my colors here. It's nearly time to go racing. Got my trainer there. He's talking to his owner who's a millionaire. And he's just standing there. We don't care. Dangerous. Crazy scary. But we're insured. Yeah, we're insured. Yeah, we don't like losing on our horses because we try to beat that guy. You all know him as the champ, Tony McCoy. But we've got jockey style. Jockey style, yep, 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 yep. We've got jockey style. Jockey style, yep, 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 yep. We've got jockey style. Hey, sexy horsey, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Jockey style. Hey, sexy horsey. Yep, 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 yep. Right. As we know, it was beautifully shot, beautifully produced. But who did the singing? Because that was... Ah! Anyway, he joins us on the line now. It is Kevin Tobin from America. How are you, Kevin? How are we doing, guys? Happy Thanksgiving from good old USA. Uh, what, what, what are you actually doing over there, anyway? Um, I'm, I'm still writing out a little bit, and uh, I started counselling there recently, so uh, I'm, I'm keeping busy, keeping, keeping my head above water. Uh, is, that what and, is, uh, is it a drugs counselling thing that you're doing, isn't it? I, alcohol, uh, alcohol and drug addiction counselling primarily, and uh, like the Americans, they love it. Um, they bring their pets for addiction counselling and everything over here. <laughs> you uh, should have stayed in Lambourne, you'd have had stacks of work. <laughs> yeah, I think I caused more of the drinking in that morning than I could cure, though. <laughs> right, come on then. How long did it take you to pen the words of jockey style? I want to say, look, I, I really put a bit of effort into this, so I'd say it was upwards of 10 to 12 minutes um, of, of <laughs> that effort. Long? Uh, yeah, um, you know, the time delay and everything probably probably added a bit of time to it. But no, I mean, uh, I tell you, I've got to give a lot of credit to, to Crossy, David Cross, on that. Um, I mean, he came to me with the idea and uh, he kind of pushed it um, to me and to get it done. And then I came back to him with what I thought and, and he critiqued it a little bit. And, and I mean, it kills me to give him credit, but uh, he, he did push it a lot to, to make it work the way it did. And then, uh, look, you know, uh, you guys like the lyrics and, and um, I don't know quite how my voice ended up on, on, the, on the back of it. But, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess it took off a little bit. Well, we've, Gerald Tumsey just said, can you ask him... Ask Tobo why he's trying to talk with an American accent. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just more marketable. I mean, I, I'm in talks now with the X Factor USA over here about <laughs> becoming a judge and stuff, so it obviously impressed them, you know? Just give um, us... Can, can you, without, without the actual background music, can you just sing a bit of it? I mean, God, I got paid to sing it on the record. Are you going to pay me for singing it? Yeah, day? yeah, I will. I promise you. I'll see you right. <laughs> Come on, I'm, sing I, it. I, I, you're putting me under a bit of pressure here. Yeah, now, come right? on, sing. You've got to sing a bit. Sing the first 30 seconds. OK. When we get to the races, we usually start sweating. While all you guys are outside <laughs> doing all your betting. That burger I ate last night, and now I am regretting that it's done. Oh, shut up. Well, I can't done, stand son. anymore. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic, buddy. Well done. Hey, but it's been a tremendous hit. It's been, it's been, a, been a lot of fun, hasn't it? I tell you what, I couldn't believe it when I when I looked at it and and, and watched it watched it go up, up on YouTube and and how people were talking about it. Mind you, if you look at the comments on YouTube or Twitter, it got absolutely ripped apart. Well, the singing like did. Said, yeah, the video recording <laughs> didn't didn't get touched. The, the dancing was was com complimented no end. Somebody I think commented, "Did I sing it through a wet sponge or something like that?" <laughs> Five hundred and sixty-four thousand views. I'm telling, it's uh, hits its bit hard, and uh, we're thinking, we're thinking Luke's going to try and mastermind uh, <laughs> one regarding the, the the lady jockeys. What do you reckon? Well, I'd agree with that. I mean, I think I thought you two boys were going to do one on TV. I, I'm sexy and I know it. Uh, <laughs> I we're, yeah, we're the only ones. <laughs> yeah, 
that that'd be impressive. But if you got the lady jockeys to do it, I quite happily write them one too. Well, I, yes, I mean, like, yeah, to be we're honest, liking that. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, we we might we'd love you to write the lyrics. Whether we get you to sing it is debatable, but we'll see. Hey, Luke, you know, I'd settle. I'd settle for not singing if you let me direct it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what from over there? And if you could, well, I'd, I'd fly back for that. And if you could replace Sam Jones dancing in his boxer shorts with Hayley Turner dancing in her underwear, I'd be all right. Oh, yeah, well, I think we'd all, we'd, we'd, we'd all second that, I think. But, um, I reckon that'd get more than 560,000 hits, too. Yeah, it probably would. I probably would help, actually. And who are you riding out for over there, anyway? Um, I read a bit at Laurel Park here for, for Hugh McMahon, who's actually an Englishman um, over here training. And, and uh, I mean, it's a very different game over here. It's, I, I find it's a very different game over here. I mean, I might get on 15 in the morning here. Um, and, uh, I mean, I'm here in, in Baltimore where, where the preakness, the middle leg of the Triple Crown over here is. So it's, um, it gets pretty busy around springtime, you know? Yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, when I left here, Luke, I must admit, when I left home, I, I thought that I'd... Uh, Miss the the rolling hills and and the stuff of Ireland and and the the big old historical buildings and stuff and then I got here and I realised they have people that are as big as those rolling hills and big historical <laughs> buildings so I didn't miss it as much you know. <laughs> well, look, we're going to keep in touch with you because we we do definitely over the next couple of weeks we want you to pen a, a female jockey style version. Absolutely no problem at all. It'd be an absolute pleasure. Right. Well, look, good to hear that you're doing well. Are you are you still single? Always, Luke, always. I well, mean, when you, when you enter the music industry like that, it's probably more marketable, <laughs> as I said, for a men's single. I mean, it's been a battle, but you, you have to do what you have to do, you know? Well, you don't know, some, some strange people have, have pulled some really attractive women. <laughs> exactly. Um, you two boys sitting on screen to name a few, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, well that, before we get taken off air, i better let you go. Let, thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget, keep in touch. We want uh, another nice, entertaining song from you. No problem at all, guys. Take care. Well done, Cheers, Tobo.